infrastructure, yeah. even as much as Kenya is, you know, the Silicon Valley of Africa, but yeah. I think more still needs to be done. Yeah, was it, uh, you reminded me of Storia Andrew Kibe, the way his YouTube channel got suspended. Mm -hmm. So it just happened that we had a Kenyan who works at Google. I don't know, if, we also have Google offices in Nairobi, yes yeah. we do, even YouTube offices, mm -hmm. are still in partnership with Google. And the way they suspended this guy from that algorithm, it's, it's, it's mm -hmm. super powerful. To yeah. be honest, this means that you know, someone can come out of this space and still have an authority on a platform that's owned by foreigners. It's really powerful, I mean. to be honest. But <laughs> they have oh, the control. There's also a similar story here, or yeah. still on Meta. There's an ex-Facebook ex staff who has sued mm -hmm. uh, Samasos Meta for contempt. And let me explain to you. Okay. It says uh, Facebook moderators, because they have moderators in Kenya as well, each and every country has theirs assigned by Meta still. Mm -hmm. It says Facebook moderators will now pursue uh, directors of Meta and labor outsourcing firm Samasos for Kenya EPZ for disobedience of court orders after the talks collapsed. The moderator's lawyer Masi Mutemi told Employment and Labor Relations Court ELRC yesterday mm -hmm. that Meta and Samasos were not genuinely seeking to engage in talks to resolve the case out of court. And quote unquote, they said the matter is, is coming up for mediation. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the mediation was not successful. We felt there was no genuine effort from respondents to reach out on out of court settlement. And in the circumstances, mm -hmm. we pray that we proceed to the contempt applications pending before the court. And then there's also a story uh, that popped up about mental health. Mm -hmm. They're saying 90% uh, of the moderators who moderate Instagram uh, in South Africa, in Kenya, and still in USA are suffering from mental health issues because of the pressure that comes with the content that's being posted there. Nice. So it's taking over their mental well-being. And they are urging uh, Mark Zuckerberg to invest a lot in mental health activism, especially for the moderators, because still they are consumers of the content. Because uh, I, I think it takes me back to Storina IT, front, front end and back end. Mm -hmm. So they're like the back end operators of the apps we have. So it's yeah. like they have the servers. So yeah. if I post something crazy, there was a time I posted, uh, mm -hmm. I reposted a video about suicide on, on a suicidal Instagram page, mm -hmm. and they deactivated, the, I think it's called shadow burning. They shadow burned me for like one hour. I thought my Instagram was gone. I was, I was praying so hard <laughs> <laughs> because the people who follow me on that page, trust me, trust me, I swear to God. It, it so they bad. shadow burned me for like one hour, and then they sent me an email. That you know, there's some things. If 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 Instagram is not used to seeing them from you, they suspect that your account has been hacked, or is being oh, used for okay. malicious uh, purposes. So they mm -hmm. do something called shadow banning. They limit you from posting, going live, or replying to a DM, uh -huh. or even following. Until today, I can't follow people back. So if I've not followed you, maybe next year. You can't follow. Yeah, I back. can't follow back. Um, oh. That number is done there uh, until next year. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. So I was really scared. That's interesting. I've never heard of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if, if you buddy. post something mm -hmm. that they're not used to, you, for example, you work on TV, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you post a dead body, they'll be like, your Instagram has been hacked. hacked. So they'll shadow ban you. Okay. And then they, they'll, they'll give you a message saying, we are conscious of people's mental well-being. And if this is threatening you and others, then definitely means that you're not safe. So they'll shadow ban you. All right. Hmm. Still, X is doing that, I mm -hmm. hear. If you post... but. X is like an adult platform sometimes. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, you land on some adult videos and you wonder, hey, is this an how, how did it platform? get here? Yeah. I think it's not as strict <laughs> as uh, the meta As Instagram, platforms. by the way. Yeah, yeah even Facebook is as just as strict. Right. Well, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, that's the last one so, um, I'll mention. So which one between these two? Um, okay, I'll just mention them quickly. Sting of a weaker shilling persist amid NSC sell-offs and uh, basically the action is that the government and the central bank will need to take decisive action to stabilize the currency and the stock market. This may involve uh, raising uh, interest rates, tightening fiscal policy and intervening in the foreign exchange market. So that's the action that's needed. And uh, finally, Kenya's ambitious plan to overhaul LPG sector. LPG is the liquid petroleum gas sector. Uh, so the move aims to slash prices of gas 
introduce competition and foster affordability in a strategic approach to meet energy needs. So this is the interesting bit of it, Sakwa. Yep. So they're saying, well, apart from the slashing and, uh, and everything, so Kenya plans to overhaul the consumption of LPG with sweeping policy changes that promise to half prices and deliver cooking gas to your homes through a network of pipes. So that's a new technology that, that they're working on. Uh -huh. so imagine now gas being delivered to your home through a network of pipes. Yeah. I don't know how that would work out. Okay. The move is aimed, again, as I said, fostering affordability in Kenya and will re leverage a network of pipes known as reticulated gas system. Mm -hmm. This changes together with the removal of taxes will lead to rapid growth in the LPG consumption, a move that started in 2019 yeah. to help attract investment in the sector, according to SNP Global. Right. Yeah, so that's uh, something that will be happening in the LPG sector. I can't wait to see how that's, you yeah. know, the network, the connection of gases all the way to your home will yeah. actually look like. So I don't know if that means that ta we w you don't need to buy the tank anymore. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I I don't. Is, will it be like the water? How the water comes, mm, yeah. you know, and then just pay for it and month. Yeah, yeah, for it, I've got tricks. I don't, I don't <laughs> know if that's what they mean. But it's a creative. It's a creative. It's a creative dynamic it's to a, distribute gas. Quite, I yeah, believe. quite, yeah. quite creative. So yeah. yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it how it pans but out. But in as and like a story at KPLC, you know the way they they have a connection from. Mm -hmm. their 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 distributor. Yeah. But then there's somebody benefiting from it underground i'm a connector i reflect koke plc her party bill you know that exactly it might go down that Ooh. road just well. uh, on the business page of uh, the standard on page 28 mm -hmm. uh, the new trade cs uh, i'm i'm finding it hard to remember the name because nancy. they've done the reshuffle <laughs> nancy so. no she she win na docket nancy nakumicha no trade Oh, trade. trade I CS, thought you yeah. meant health. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Trade CS. Yes. Switching from Moses Korea. <laughs> the trade CS. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so let me just it. take you through as you find out. So it says uh, mm -hmm. the trade CS yes, or cabinet secretary for has called for reviews of 1974 Standards Act amid law uptake. And it, it says uh, the, oh, she's Rebecca Miano. Sorry. Yes, yes. Right. All right. Uh, she said uh, he has called for the review of the Standards Act as her ministry revealed that only 10% of standards developed mm -hmm. are in use in the market. She also offered that her first public function after taking over the ministry following a cabinet reshuffle and said the act needs to be aligned to the needs of the country. She said this at the World Standards Day commemorated on October 14th on the theme Shared Vision for a Better World, that is according to uh, the SDG or Standard Development Goal number three. Uh, that mm -hmm. talks about sustainable development goals seeking to ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all ages. She also gave a keynote address on the event organized by the Kenya Bureau of Standards, KEBS, and Trademark Africa and said that the act needs to be reviewed notwithstanding earlier evaluations since 2004. She also directed KEBS board to urgently steer the process in of reviewing the old standards to make sure it fits for the purpose of the country. The supply state said the recently state agency said it had tested over 60,000 consumer products in 2022 to 2023 this year and the role the role of KEBS actually is now being you know put on the on blast because of late there's been a lot of fake uh, scandals of, from gold scams to illicit products especially when it comes to stories uh, alcohol and illicit brews like there's mm -hmm. some brands of alcohol that are just making way in the market and you they're not even certified by kebs and yet they have kebs stickers on them there's even some types of brands of um cigars is it cigars yeah cigars and mm -hmm. cigarettes uh, they're too different because a cigar is a little bit fat yeah. <laughs> big in big in size mm -hmm. so there's also some brands that are in this country illegally imported via you know some dubious ways mm -hmm. and they're on the market being consumed that are also posing as a health risk. Wow. So they're saying uh, KEBS mm -hmm. has also dismissed reports that goods sold in the local market may be of poor quality because of not testing, saying that its diamond mark of quality signifies that all products are fit for consumption. But that's not always true because mm -hmm. there's a lot of fake brands, even even yeah. lotions. I don't know Shanghai and how did it make its way to Kenya? Mm -hmm. like, 
there's always an entrepreneur sneaking something via the airport, Wilson, Nini, Nini. Yeah. And they're still big on the market. And you'll wonder, there's, like it, it, it's a big brand, it's on the shelf, you've been using it for the last five years, but it has never been certified, certified. by cabs. And Ooh. you wonder what's now happening. Uh, that's crazy, it shouldn't be on the shelf. I mean, it, that made, probably made it through, through corruption. Yeah. You know, how else would it be on the shelf if it's not certified by cabs? So, you know, I think we as citizens need to, need to do our due diligence to make sure that whatever you're buying yep. has been certified, just to make sure. How many lotion you don't bleach after using a <laughs> certain yeah. Yeah, oil on your body? Well, right. and also uh, there's a f the place they, they pointed out on importation of mm -hmm. beauty products that yeah. just make their way on the market. And you mentioned the word <laughs> yeah. bleaching products as well. There are so many. <laughs> Even from, what, what are they called? The, the hair extensions, the fibers, the fake beards, for those that are <laughs> beard <laughs> disabled. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All those hairs That's are making <laughs> <laughs> are making their way on the market and they're selling. They're mm. selling big time. They are really selling. Uh, me, for me, it's unfortunate. You know, you can buy every other thing fake. If it's there, then fine. Yeah. But now, with the creams, yeah. I am never for that. You know, Peter to but a river road and you're a lady. Oh, they will call you. Wuta itwa, you're the hot cake on that yeah, street. You will be caught. Every every stall they're just selling the the products and they'll tell you, oh, it'll lighten you up, oh, it'll help you smoothen your skin. But those are not good products to actually buy. Just stick to products that are being sold in the supermarket or from dealers that you actually trust because otherwise. They're quite harmful. Right. And Sakwa, this month, again, is uh, cancer, cancer awareness, awareness month. breast cancer particularly, right. awareness month. Mm -hmm. And um, we saw the DP um, uh -huh. yesterday, again, during you know his speech on UHC and everything about it. He said that we also need to raise awareness on prostate cancer, which is something that is also affecting a lot of men. Mm -hmm. Statistics here have it that one in every nine men in sub-Saharan Africa, Kenyan included, is a potential candidate for the cancer. Yeah. And, um, you know, so he, he was saying that um, awareness on prostate cancer will inform timely intervention to, to mm. save lives. And yeah. there are countries that have actually have that actually have September as a prostate cancer awareness month. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, the cost of treatment is nine times more than the cost of preventing the disease. So right. treating prostate cancer isn't cheap at all, but it can be treated like any other cancer, you know, depending on the stage that it is in. Even on the fourth stage, I, I believe that it can still be salvaged. Yeah. Um, I had an, int not me personal, but I saw an interview yeah. where a lady who had stage four cancer, right. you know, is actually cancer free now. So right. we have success stories of people who have had um, stage for cancer yeah. and for prostate cancer it's really a topic not spoken a lot by men you know yeah. men are not as loud or open as women yeah and uh, it comes mostly with old age as i've witnessed right. uh the people that i know around so yeah. it has some symptoms so right. for men they they can't go to the toilet quite oh. no no you go to to uh, uh, to for a short call, but it's like you you're not really urinating well. Mm -hmm. You you're really press, but it's like a yeah. five percent of the ninety five percent is what comes out, and you're still full, but there's nothing coming out. And yeah. then you that's for men. F that's for men. Okay. Speaking of prostate cancer, and right. then most most times uh, they feel the urgency to go to the toilet real quick like you're mm. almost being on yourself and it has just come so yeah. those are kind of some of the signs that are right. there yeah. so men don't speak about it because they mm. feel especially yeah. when you're the father of the home who will you tell you know yeah. and they they don't speak until it gets to the end end stage and yeah. you know it's hard mm -hmm. to be treated then now the mm. PS and, and one way to test that uh, to just make sure that you don't have prostate cancer even as a man is yeah. to go and test for the PS do the PSA tests right. and you know if your PSA is high then it will show it's an indicator that 
it could be something to do with uh, prostate cancer or right. enlargement of the prostate, which can be treated. Mm -hmm. Not all enlargements are cancerous, but right. something that can be treated and prevented. Yeah. So, so yeah. Wow. That's really powerful. Uh, true, like most men do not go for those checkups. Imagine. And you, you, ah. you made me remember, uh, is it Mr. Wild, Kenya? We, mm. we also interviewed him. I also interviewed him here last year. Mm -hmm. He said his dad passed on because of breast cancer. His dad, not his oh. mom. His mom is still alive, uh, Mr. Wild. And uh, that, that actually became his, they call it beauty pageant, pampas of pampas for pageant. I don't understand pageantry. I'm not a model though. But yeah, get you. Um, <laughs> so that became his Beauty with a Purpose project uh. to sensitize men on getting checked up. And then she, he said rather that there's a lot of stigma for men in terms of because the way they check uh, or they try to conduct a search on men is like they they'll, 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 they'll go under your bedong bedongs <laughs> oh, <and laughs> to conduct and, and most men are uncomfortable <laughs> bending over. Put your number saba <laughs> to get that checkup because you have to do that for you to get that checkup. Mm -hmm. So most men would rather just die in silence because, let me tell you, no man would want anything down there. But but, it, <laughs> but it's necessary for this purpose. It's very necessary because yeah. it's your health at the end of the day. Yeah. Why would you want to be sick right. until you can't Absolutely. handle it anymore? Mm -hmm. You know, you 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 wait, kidogo, yeah. and then you decide which one you want. Even STDs. In fact, they say 90% of STD carriers, especially UTIs, are men. Are men. Because they don't get checked. They, they are don't. afraid to talk about what's going on down there. Mm -hmm. Kwanzaa for a man, once you have something down there, your self-esteem is sent back to the sender. <laughs> sent back to the sender. Once you have something going on down there. You cannot be found. You know, for, 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 for ladies, at least you guys go through your monthly periods. <laughs> you know, you're used to checking, you know, like you even have conversations about periods. There's even I mean, activism. Yeah, we, you know. we talk but about for everything. Men, once you have something down there, bro, it's I don't a, know. It's a whole to, different case. It's God to have some idea. <laughs> well, <laughs> still on we that God not step. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we're perception. just about to go for the commercial. But let me sample. You can also sample a little bit of the feedback before we go on a break, and then we're gonna come back for the riddle. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, the first comment on top of our question was, an entrepreneur I'm going to share later on our show. Akako inspired the most, and what specific lesson did you learn? Kutoka kwake, okay. Um, the first one, and it was Ambrose, and I said, when I saw my wife fighting with my mother, I immediately went to call my dad to see whose wife will win. <laughs> Everyone reading this, At what? I need you to follow. I followed you yesterday, bro. I followed you yesterday. Uh, mm. Sheikh's lazy, and I said, good morning, good morning. Uh, Abim Katoliki, salam, and I said, watching live from Vihiga County, Omago Center. Shout out to you, hashtag in the morning. Silo Sylvester, and I said, morning, guys, watching from South Sea. Shout out to you. Uh, Catherine Shikona Semandani Sana from Kaganda in Muranga. And then Brian, I'm a Sema watching live from Shombo Msichana Yogurt. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Uh -huh. And then another one, Steph, before you come through. Uh, mm -hmm. Kamau Msenango Nasema, good morning. Pamoja Sana, Hapa Kimwangi Division, Gatundu South, Kiambu County. And then a um, shout out, Nancy Nanzi, Wangari Wagithi. Mama Leon, Leon Wakiamara, comedian Ndani. Shout out to both of you and continue watching hashtag Why in the Morning. Steph, back to mm -hmm. you. Um, hmm. I think you've read most of the people that have uh, commented. Mine is just to thank you for, for tuning in. Empire Mrege, Dennis Nyongesa, Aston Dathi, Silo Sylvester, JJ's Ozango, we have Katrin. Uh, Brian from Chombo, um, Shix Lacey, we have uh, Kamau Musenangu, Waweru wa keyboard, Joy Tumaini, Ambrose, Albim Katoliki, Sultan Sokit, I think that's what I'm sorry, and then Jeff D, DJ Boy, Amenita Stephanie, with some, some good emojis, and thank you. And yeah, so bado tuja tupatia the, the, awa jajibu, um jajibu swali bado. Who is it that inspired you? Sila zungu juwe jina, but unazama ni conversation gani ili ku inspire. Maybe, you know, ulichukua a step after you had that conversation, you know. Give us something, what inspired you? And then we'll be sampling your comments again. Absolutely. At Y254 channel. Yes. Stephanie Ayeta. You you have TikTok? <laughs> you yeah. have your TikTok page? <laughs> I am. 
Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. I've never heard you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I say it's safer yet across all social media all platforms. Right. So okay. I mean, all of them. Nico, uh, Nico, Nico, Nico Twitter, Nico X, Nico LinkedIn, Nico Insta, Nico Facebook, Telegram. Nico TikTok, Nico but Snapchat. But threads, thread, threads, I'm still threads. learning how to use threads. Uh -huh. But I've, I, I, I immediately went on, people followed me. I think I figured a thousand really fast. Oh. So I've never understood how it works. I can't wait to see Mark Zuckerberg issue a direction on how we are going to earn from threads. Please. Oh, please. Please. <laughs> 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 but I But I believe we also have a threads 4254. I actually follow it. So please go follow us at 4254 channel. Mm -hmm. So it's time for us to take a break. So and then we're going to come back for the reload. Please so go ahead. Yeah, before, before we take that break, there's also an interview that I did some time ago. On, on Matters Health, hey. and uh, we were talking about uh, recovering from addiction. And, um, you know, the, you've mentioned, there's a point you had mentioned about illicit drugs. So in this interview, we're talking about recovering from addiction. What does it take uh, and yeah. all that? Yeah. And we want to play it back for you. So Kidneon and Among were different. It's still me. <laughs> but we're playing it back for you just in case you missed it uh, right. because we think that it was very informative. So you also watch out for that. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Right. So, so wait for that conversation from Stephanie Ayeta at Y244 channel at Brian Sakona one and continue mm -hmm. interacting. We take a break. We come back with, I believe it's going to be game time. So stick around for some good vibes right here on Y in the morning. Welcome back. You're still hanging out with us, Mighty, on the hashtag Why in the Morning, and it's time for game time. In just a bit, <laughs> you're about to have fun with you, right? On yeah. that hashtag, which is Why in the Morning, at Brian Sankwana One, at Stephanie Ayeta, at Y244 Channel. So uh, let's get into it. Um, mm. Uh, just time. at the back here, on a backdrop, uh, th yeah. the riddle is one has to be broken before you can use I it. I know. Egg. Right. <laughs> I got it. You got it right. Okay. <laughs> what has to be, but I believe also there's some things that have to be broken before they get used. Like what? Uh, a sugar what can is? break it and then no, the you don't have, yeah. you know how to you just for sugar can you just need as it you know to like like it's quite full. Yeah. So you just ngangana with it yeah. and then you use it. But, but also there's people egg. who cut it before. Mm. Well, that's part preference. Your part. You yeah. don't have to. You choose to. Because okay. uh, but for an egg, how do you, how do you use it if you don't break it? All ah. right. <laughs> One point. It. Yeah. There's also <laughs> somebody who said God has to break you before He uses you. Anyways, <laughs> there's so many relatives to that. Mm -hmm. Well. All right. The answer is an egg. Uh -huh. Another one is what is full of holes but still holds <gasps> water. Huh. Yeah. Oh goodness, that's a good one. Yeah. I think it's kichungi. Kichungi, a siva. But still Ilea. holds water. Yes, it holds water through before it passes through and it gets filtered. I really don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, what do you think is it? What is full of holes but what still holds water? Yeah. Uh, goodness. For me, it's a siva. Kichungi. Did you say like this, the sky? Uh -huh. I don't know if it has holes, <laughs> but I'm thinking. Pia Bohol has a hole. <laughs> Still holds water. <laughs> but holes. It yeah. holds holes. Has holes. A, a sponge. sponge. So it's close. Ah. No, very close. <laughs> no, it's right. <laughs> no, it's very sponge. close. Kichungi has it's holes, no, no. but it holds water. It doesn't hold water. It yeah. passes water. But it has to hold it before it... No, <laughs> you have hold that. Mm -mm. Perfect. Okay, okay. <laughs> so zero points you for both it. of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next one, another one. What goes up but never comes down? So that is smoke. I'm yeah, a, I think it's smoke. I'm a water. I think we agree on that. I'm a water, I'm a air. Just something. I think it's smoke. Mm -hmm. What goes up what and goes never up comes and down. What goes up and never comes down. But oh. smoke comes down. It comes down anyway. 
No, it doesn't come down. Mm. It ends the moisture you have for the But yeah, let's stick to smoke. Take your boiled some. Okay. <laughs> mm. We stick to smoke. Ah, Bruh, what no. are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, <laughs> too far from reality, too far, like okay. keep jogging, keep jogging. <laughs> okay. Wow, that, 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 that one is a trickster, that. I swear, that one got me, it got me. Seriously, yeah, your age goes up, it never comes down. It never comes down. Yeah. Uh -huh. We just stick to where we are. We're going to 18 forever. We're going to 18 to 16, mm. actually, like some of us, we are 16 until uh, father notice. So. Yep. Wow. <laughs> that one is interesting. Interesting. I think I'll use it on someone. I'll torture I'll torture someone <laughs> with it. I'll, yeah. and I'll definitely have a part mm. and listen to what you say. Okay. Mm. Next uh -huh. one. Next one. I have branches but no fruit but no fruit, mm. trunk or leaves. What am I? Uh, that's a bank, to be honest. <laughs> that's a bank. Wait, wait. <laughs> I have branches. Uh huh. But no fruit. Oh, this is also the last one, but the trunk. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the last one. Yeah. Ooh, but I no fruit, trunk, or leaves. What I am I? A bank, a bank, no bank, 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 Shank bank, bank. Can't leaves. wait to see the answer. <laughs> what am I? Wow. Okay. If you want to be a little summer group of schools, <laughs> man, you're going to be a side eye. Look at me. 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 I'm going to be a little bit of a break tie. I'm going to be a little bit of a break tie. It's me who always gets the A's, man. No, no. We talked to a B. Sako with the A's. When I joke, you pronounce Vibai, and as I talk, Vibai up here. Sako with the A's. But anyways, Steph, so you can briefly tell us more what's coming up in your interview. Still, it's also Council Awareness Month before we go. Okay. Just like I had briefed you earlier on, it's the same thing. We're talking about the previous interview that I did on um, recovering from addiction especially when we're talking about alcohol and drug addiction how do you recover how's the journey like we're talking to someone who has an experience a personal experience with this and is working with others to to break the addiction so this is something that could be beneficial to you if you're struggling with addiction or if you know someone who's struggling with ad an addiction. Uh, so yeah, I'll be in different clothes. I will look a little bit different because it's uh, an interview that we did some time ago, but I'm sure you'll enjoy it once yeah. more. Well. Absolutely, because mm -hmm. every one of us at least has struggled with any kind of addiction. It could be addiction to taking tea, Addiction to a person, like I'm addicted to you. Now, when I come your song by Kamula, addicted. You're yeah, addicted yeah, to yeah. this person. It's addiction either way. A form of <laughs> addiction. Addicted to smoking, you know, mm -hmm. cigarettes. Yeah. It, you yeah. know. Addicted to watching, binge watching. I think I, I do that a lot. Like I, I'm handling X, I'm handling a movie, I'm reading a book. Like I'm multitasking. And at the end of the day, it it affects your mental uh, your mental space uh -huh. in terms of dopamine. Actually, most people who are addicted, their dopamine levels are either extremely high mm -hmm. or low. Low. Mm. Okay. So it's a good interview. So, so Steph, yeah. we take a break. We come back at Stephanie Ayeta at Y254 okay. Channel mm -hmm. at Brian Sako 101 on the hashtag Y in the morning. We take a break with the interview coming up shortly.